Hi there, Jules again. I have a, another tip for you today and it's all about the eyes again. So we did under eye concealing, but also there are people who have very dark eyes um, around this area, you can get a lot of darkness. So just a little top tip on how to highlight that. Okay, so I always, again, use my Windows of the Soul by Temple Spa, just a small pea size amount. And it's so soothing for anybody who's got any puffiness under their eye bags. So I just blot it in, tap it around, it's lightweight, and it really does help to nourish that under eye area. Then if you've got kind of really bad under eyes that kind of do need lightening up, it's the stiller again, bringing it on. Just a very small dot because it is your eye area. We don't want to overdo it. So I'm just tapping that in again, giving that a really nice blend in with the fingertips. I mean, really, this Stiller product, it really does help any uneven skin tone all over your face. I really love it and it's got like a brightening effect too and it's lightweight. That's what I like. I hate products that just sit on your skin. They're just not for me. They might be for other people but they're just not for me. I still want to see like your natural kind of smile lines, everything. So next tip, I have got Prep and Prime. This is by MAC and it's one of my favourite ones that I use a lot on weddings as well. So it's the highlighter range and it's Radiant Rose. It's the lightest one that they do and it's a bit pinky tingy, which I really like. So again, undo it and it's in a brush format and you just twist it. I normally just pop a little bit on the back of my hand, if I can get any out of it, don't wanna to work today. Okay, I've put far too much on that. So remember, these high quality products you do actually only need a small amount and that's why they are so expensive. So I've got a little bit there on my hand and I'm just going to tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. Don't drag, just tap it in, warming that product through. Now the main area is here. This is the bit that always seems to go. This is the bit where people will focus on more as well. If you can highlight that bit, it just lifts the whole of your eye. So try that, just try and tap it in. Just have a play around, that's what it's all about. It's not about, oh, it's done this way with this brush and this, no. It's all to do with your own skin, your own eye area, what you feel comfortable in. So just less is more. Again, my motto, keep adding, keep blending, don't drag, just tap, 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 tap it in. If you want to as well with this product, quite like it, you can just pop a little bit on there, just under that eyebrow, give that a nice highlight. If you weren't wearing a lot of makeup and you just had a foundation base and you wanted to do this with your eyes, you can, just a basic little one, get it highlighted up there. It just gives really nice definition with that highlighter. So your highlighter is different than a concealer. Highlighters are more lighter and they have light reflecting properties, a bit like a Touche Eclat by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, that's who I worked with before, so I know kind of a lot about under eye highlighting. You can also, a lot of people used to do disguises along the nose as well, just to give a little bit of a highlighted look. The best thing as well, as well, anything, that is on a brush like this, and Touche Class, especially the lovely gold packaging, keep them and use them as lip brushes when you finish with them. They're the best thing ever, and they look fantastic in your handbag when you're applying them to your lips. Best lip brushes. Anyway, that's all for highlighting of under eyes. I hope I've helped you again. Keep drinking water as well, and green tea, any um, antioxidants are really good for eye bag uh, puffiness. Any Temple Spa products you need, I get 10% VIP discount, so just let me know. Have a great day. Thank you.